What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and I just have a short video for you today because I haven't seen that many people talk about this and it's something that I kind of glossed over in a live stream the other day but hopefully it can help you out because they've added a couple of new things for simming games and clearing your match pass and also for getting all the rewards unlocked very easily. So we're going to go over here and show you a couple of new tips and it is in the events. So obviously with the events, the way that they've added the events now, there is more substitutions in V2.6. They've added that and everyone knows that, well, you should know by now that if you rack up 3000 event points every week, every Thursday, this is rinse and repeated. You will get a free player of the week spin as the ultimate prize with this against the AI. So you're just playing against the CPU or the AI. You get to set the difficulty, you get to set your squad, you get to play within the parameters that they set you. So for this one, this is an English league. So you're going to get a bonus to any of the players that you have in your squad that are English league players. Now you can also set, I've covered this before, you can also set whether you want to play as a manager um, in manager mode and do just the squad and the rotation of the, the tactics and all that. You can also set the match level there as well. If you do play the AI controlled, that is pretty much just manager mode. So you do the tactics, you can do manual stuff and you can set your team up, but you're not actually playing. Uh, it's just simming the games for you as in the management mode. If you are playing as a user controlled, it is you playing against the AI. So you'll see here very handily, they've added this new feature, which is a tiny little quality of life feature, but it is actually fairly big for when you're trying to fill out your squad very easily and quickly. Because look, nobody wants to spend their time in menus. You know, you just want to be playing and uh, achieving stuff in the game and getting rewarded for it. So you will see that all my players here have got a tick beside them because they've got the bonus. But of my three players up front, Collar, Neymar and Messi, don't play in the English league. They've now added a filter in the player search for league uh, by league basis, right? So I can just choose English league. I can choose the cheapest price and then I can just get three squad players that I can put in and they will give me the ultimate uh, reward and the boost for that. So I'm just going to sign three players here very quickly and then go back to the main menu of my game plan for the events, right? So this is a very quick way to, to clear your match pass, um, to rack up and get some free uh, player of the week openings and get some free, uh, you know, rewards and stuff. You can get skill trainers. You can do this against any of the AI events, right? So what we're going to do in here is I haven't seen, as I said, a few people. So hopefully this, um, I haven't seen anybody really put up a video about this. So hopefully um, this will help you out. So you will see that we're getting our max bonus there. It is increased because of the substitutes that they've added. They added this new feature where you now have extra substitutes on your bench in your reserves uh on the bench um that you're able to bring in so you will see there that the more the more we mess around with the squad the more players we have that fit the english league so the more players we have that play in the english league we've got messi there that's going to reduce it down once we've got messi in we take messi out and again we can filter in here by the league system so we can just filter here by english league which is the premier league obviously we go back down get evan ferguson in and now we're going to get the, the full boost because we've got every single player in our squad that is now playing in the english league okay we can choose to play this on anything that you want. But this is a little tip for you, okay? So we're going to start the game with user controlled and we're going to put it on a level that we're comfortable, not just winning, but we can choose whatever we want, right? Put it on a difficulty that you're comfortable enough, not winning, but that you're able to score pretty much when you want or you know that you're comfortable enough that you can score one or two goals a game, okay? So this depends on your skill level. It depends on your team setup. Obviously, you know, you can try out on the lower difficulties if you just want guaranteed points. But I would definitely recommend go maybe top player or professional, okay? Because the AI do give you um, give you chances. You just have to be able to, to finish them. And you can turn them over in possession and quite quickly and stuff like that. So we're going to get a goal straight off the bat here. We're just going to sweat it in. There's no morals here when we're playing against the AI. We're just going to score as easily and as quickly as we possibly can. Once we do that, okay, once we've got our goal, we can press start, go into the start menu, and we can press square on settings, go down to player controls, and switch over to AI control player controls. So, you know, we've started by playing the match, now we're into sim mode. So this game is just going to play on, it's going to be CPU versus CPU, um, and, and they really encourage this in the game because you can do it very easily. You can set your team up. You can switch it at ease. You can switch in. I'll show you towards the end of the video as well. Um, and this will just play out as normal. Now, one big issue with this before that made it a little bit more kind of time consuming was that when you hit half time, if you were simming games, right? Number one, you couldn't change over to user to sim to sim to user. But the other biggest issue was at half time in any break in play, it would not flick on. So you'll see there that we've now, they've now added a timer of a 60 second timer in the right hand corner 
and that is going to be in sim mode so as long as you have got battery in your controller and you don't lose that obviously um you are going to be now just completely streamlining the process they've completely streamlined the process of simming games and this will just count down the timer without me having to press next without having to to do anything so it just speeds up the process of simming games um and then you can just concentrate on your management mode or whatever go make a cup of tea chill out and then when you come back in here it will just continue on where it left off from the first half right now one other thing i would say to you as well just to keep in mind is keep an eye on it obviously um because you know the ai sometimes will score goals you know obviously um how many times am i going to say obviously but they will score goals every now and again and when they do that it is very easy to just flick back over we'll show you here in a second we'll flick back over they've conceded we've conceded a goal we're going to switch back on to user and then i'm going to score another goal with evan ferguson who's an underrated beast in the real life and in re in the game as well as i actually love him on my road to glory um he's like a collar substitute when i bring him on but yeah, once we get the lead back, we can either choose to play it out ourselves or we can go back to sim mode or whatever we want to do. I would probably usually play out the game because you do get the full points when you win the games compared to, you know, losing or drawing. If you're struggling to win games, I would just stick it on Legend. I'll cover that in a second towards the end of the video. But we're just going to see out this result and then it is going to pop up. All the objectives, um, you know, all the objectives are unlocked and completed whether you switch from AI control to user control, whether you score the goals, the AI score the goals, everything is unlocked, all the objectives and the match pass, as well as the reward events as well, and the rewards that you get with the points earned here. So you'll see there that we got 1,333 points per victory. And now look, what I would say lads is, right, if you are just simming games and you're not really bothered about it and you're not really time consuming or you have a bit of time on your hands, I would just stick it to legend and even if you lose the game you're going to get about 800 900 points now so i mean you can literally lose um you know five four games on legend difficulty even if you lose 10 nil in each game against the ai which you never will but you can just set that to the legend difficulty and then lose the games if you do with your ai if you're just in manager mode or you're doing something else or you're chilling out or whatever um and then you will obviously rack up the points win lose or draw to eventually get that main reward of the chance deal so you can see there that we're 1600 points away from that um so we need another 1600 points you need 3000 in total it's way easier now that you've got extra substitutes because you get way more of a, pl a player bonus and it stacks up way more so i would definitely play on legend and then you know jump in and jump out it kind of reminds me of nba 2k when you're playing uh, simcast if you're playing that where you can jump in and jump out you know you can jump in in the second quarter then jump back out and jump back in in the fourth quarter so i do like this and i do think it could be a cool feature for master league as well so i hadn't seen many people talk about it i'm not too sure if you knew about it but if you did if you didn't make sure you hit subscribe for all the latest on eFootball 2023 and i'll be back soon